I was impressed with that move you pulled. Bang. Gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, it's me, it's G, it's Double MD, the undefeated, undisputed YouTube champion. That's right, it's the Maverick, Mark Daniels, here with our Pokemon Colosseum Obtainable Pokemon tier list. That is a mouthful. Uh, we're basically we're gonna rank all the Pokemon obtainable in Pokemon Colosseum from favorite to least favorite using these here tiers. Um, and again, quick disclaimer: this isn't a competitive viability tier list. I say this in all my videos. This is strictly my admiration of these particular Pokemon. And we're going to rank them from favorite to least favorite. Um, we have, of course, the Arceus tier, which is the god tier. Top of the top, the cream of the crop. Only the best of the best belong up here. Amazing. Great. Okay. Not so okay. And, of course, the Garboder tier. This is the bottom of the barrel. That gunk at the bottom of the trash can that you scrape off. Um, that, you know, that used gum, that, that nasty, that gunk, that garboder, that stuff that makes you sick to your stomach. That's where the Pokemon belong. Um, that are just the worst. <laughs> I always feel bad putting some Pokemon in here, but not Infezzin. Infezzin belongs in there at all times. In fact, maybe I should rename this to the Infezzin. Nah, 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 that's fine. Uh, but one thing I always like to say in these videos, one thing that drives me crazy about tier list is when you see someone do a tier list, they put half their Pokemon or half whatever they're making a tier list of in the top tier. Or when they have like a Z++ and a Z++ and a Z and an SSSS, SS, S tier. Just, no. That's not how, stop doing that. It's, it's, it's offensive is what it is. It pisses me off. But anyways, the reason why I bring that up is because don't expect me to have like, you know, 80 Pokemon in the Arceus tier. Maybe 10 at the most. 10 at the most, and probably less than that. But anyways, guys, let's get started. So these are all the Pokemon obtainable in the Colosseum game. Obviously, there are some Pokemon on this list that you can't get through, like, a regular playthrough. Some of them are from, like, e-reader. Uh, some of them are from, like, bonus discs. But they are included in this list, and we will go ahead and rank them as well. Um, and eventually, we will play through this game as well. Um, what would be really cool, and I'll, I'll say this, and then we'll move, and we'll go on and move on ahead. I would love to see Nintendo release like a collection, uh, kind of like they did with the uh, 3D All-Stars for Mario, where they put Pokemon uh, Colosseum and XD Yellow Darkness on the same disc. That'd be amazing. Take my money, Nintendo. Take my money. Anyways, we'll kick things off with Pikachu, and let's go Amazing. Uh, it is the mascot of Pokemon, uh, the most recognizable Pokemon, maybe second only to Charizard, um, depending on who you are. I like Pikachu, and I'm looking at the other Pokemon on this list. Um, I definitely think it's fair to be an amazing tier. Uh, but of course, as we go on, we'll move things around. Uh, it may move down. It definitely won't move up. I can guarantee you that. But it could move down potentially. We'll see. We'll see how things go. Uh, next is Mareep. And I do like Mareep. But we're going to put in the OK tier for now. Uh, Flaffy, same thing, but we'll put Flaffy ahead of Mareep. Pseudo Wudo. I'm not crazy about Sudo. I don't hate Sudo Wudo. I like Sudo Wudo enough. But we're going to put it in the not so okay. Skip Plume. Hmm, looking at the other Pokemon on this list. I'll scroll down. You guys can kind of take a look at these a little bit. Yeah. Boys, I think we have our first Garbodor or Garbodor uh, Pokemon. I'm not a big fan of Skip Plume. I'm not a big fan of Hoppip either. I do like Jumpluff though. Is Jumpluff on this list? Or are these strictly just the Pokemon we can obtain with, like, in no evolutions? That's interesting. Okay. Well, they have Togepi and Togetic, though. Huh. I'm not seeing Jumpluff. Am I missing it? I don't know. Maybe because these two are from, uh,. From an e-reader or a bonus disc, right? I'm not too worried about it. I didn't make this list. <laughs> so if it's wrong, um, I'm not at fault, right? Apom. I like Apom. I'll put it in OK. Uh, Sunflora. We'll put it in the not so OK. Borderline Garboder. It may move down. We'll see. Not a big fan of Sunflora. It's OK, though. It's an OK Pokemon. Yanma. Actually, it's not so OK. That's why it's in this tier. 
Uh, Yanma will put an okay as well. I put Apom above Flaffy, by the way. Uh, Quagsire. Not so okay, but above Sunflora. I like a weird thing for Quagsire. I don't know why. Espeon and Umbreon can both go in the, the RCS tier. Imagine. <laughs> Imagine. Yeah, they both definitely go there. Espeon and then Umbreon in that order for sure. Uh, both great Pokemon. Actually, more than great. <laughs> Wordplay. Uh, Bayleaf. Amazing. I really like Bayleaf. Probably more than Meganium and Chikorita. Probably because Ash had Bayleaf, maybe. I don't know. But I like Bayleaf quite a bit. Murkrow. We'll put in the great tier. I like Murkrow. I like Honchkrow a lot as well. Uh, Mistrevis can go... I've never been crazy about Mistrevis, if I'm being honest. We'll put it not so okay. We'll put it ahead of Quagsire, below Pseudo Wudo. Fortress is pretty great, if you ask me. I like Fortress quite a bit. Um, just don't put it around fire, otherwise it'll burn to dust. <laughs> um, Dunsparce. Yeah. Uh, Gligar. I'm kidding. We'll put it in the guard order. I mean, I feel bad for Dunsparce because really... Dunsparce is definitely a forgotten about Pokemon. I would love to see them bring an evolution for it or a new regional variant of and an evolution for it and make it a, a badass dragon or something. That'd be really cool, but <sighs> sorry, buddy. You don't do much for me otherwise. So it's going down to the bottom of Garbodor, and I could probably spoil you guys and tell you it's probably going to be the very bottom. I don't think there's any Pokemon I like less than Dunsparce on this list. Gligar. I really like Gligar. I like Gliscor as well. Put Gligar above uh, Murkrow there. Granbull. I like Granbull. We'll put him in the OK tier. Eh, I really like Apom. We'll put Apom above Granbull. Quillfish. It's OK. And I think I like it in that slot as well. I do like Yama a decent amount. We'll put we'll put him near the, uh, near the bottom of OK. Scizor. Straight to the tippy top. Um, actually, honestly, straight up to the tippy top. Um, definitely love Scizor. And I'll put that above Espeon and Umbreon. Um, Shuckle. I like a weird thing for Shuckle. I don't know why. Probably because of the memes, really. So it's going okay minimum. More than Quillfish, more than Yanma. I think less than Mareep, though. And I think I might move Apom up. We'll see though. Apom is on borderline. It's he's he's my he might move up. He might move up to great. Heracross. Amazing. I like Heracross a lot. Um Kulava. Also amazing. I'd put Bayleaf in front of Kulava, but I'd put Cyndaquil above anything, just about. It's my uh second favorite Pokemon. Uh Sneasel. Arceus tier, love Sneasel, great design, love Weavile as well, huge fan of Sneasel. Ursaring, he's okay, in fact, I might move Quillfish down. Ursaring over Shuckle, nah, well, nah, in fact, Yama over, we'll put Ursaring at the bottom. Uh, Slugma... It could go not so okay, probably at the top for now. Pile of Swine. It's no Mammoth Swine, let's be honest. But it's still, it's a cool Pokemon, because it's an Ice type. It's a cool Pokemon. It's also well-grounded. Terrible joke. Anyways, we're going to put Pile of Swine in the okay tier. And we're going to put it above Ursaring. Um, yeah, maybe right below Apom. Remoraid. Not a massive fan of Remoraid, really. We'll put it at the top of Garboder. Delibird. I like Delibird a decent amount. We're going to put it in the great tier. And I think below uh, Murkrow is fine. Mantine. I've never, again, never really been a huge fan of Mantine. It's okay. Actually, it's not so okay. <laughs> I think it's fine. We'll just put it there. Stantler. Again, another Pokemon that needs some love, an evolution, a regional variant, something. Otherwise, man, it just doesn't do it for me. In fact, 
Yeah, I still probably put him in front of Reverend Raid. I just that's a damn shame, man. Skarmory. Amazing. I love Skarmory. We'll put it above. Really? Put it above Pikachu. Houndoom can go in the RCS tier. Massive fan of the Houndoom. Love the typing. Uh, love the look. Put it in front of Espeon. Uh, Crocona. Definitely belongs in the Amazing tier over Quilava, in my opinion. Uh, big fan of the aesthetic of Crocona. It's a badass looking Pokemon. And uh, big fan. Smeargle. Not so okay, but we'll put it at the top. Not really much to say about it. He's a, he's a unique Pokemon. He's very cool. He has a spot in this world. Um, for me personally, as a uh, a Pokemon catching machine. But otherwise, I don't really care about him. Hitmon top. To me, the worst of the Hitmons. I'm moving Apom up. I'm making the executive decision. Uh, we're putting him on top in the OK tier. Uh, Below pile of swine. Mill tank. It's definitely no Tauros. Tauros is amazing. I want to put Mill tank in the not so okay. At the top. We're going to move Sun forward down, by the way. Make an executive decision. Reku, Entei, and Suicune. Oh boy. Um. This is where things are going to get a little tricky. We're going to put Reku here. Um, at the top, we'll put Entei above. Suicune in the Arceus tier. I might move Entei up. We'll see. Tyranitar, Arceus tier yet again. Ho-Oh... I always like Lugia more. Top of Amazing for now. I want to move Heracross down, I think. Pikachu will keep it there for now. Celebi, I do like Celebi. Actually, kind of like the starters more, so we'll put it above Skarmory. Uh, Mokuhita is fine. Nothing uh, special, though. Moving Quag down. Mistrevis down. Mukuhita over here. Let's find Furret. It can go in the Garboder tier. <laughs> it's just a ferret, man. I don't know. That's not, that's not, that's not a special looking Pokemon. It's pretty generic looking and it never did anything for me at all. Uh, Metatite. Angle on the bottom, not so okay. Plusle. Not so okay. Above Sudowoodo. Vibrava. Certainly no Flygon, but it's okay. Yeah, right about there. Swablu. Again, never been a fan of Swablu. Nah, I would do that. Like I can't insult I can't insult Swablu that much. In fact, we'll put over Skipling as well. Uh, Tropius is a really cool Pokemon. We'll put it in the great tier. Got a banana beer, man. How can you hate it? Um, we're gonna put Tropius. I think that's probably where I would put it. We'll put it there. Um, Absol absolutely belongs in the amazing tier. And we're gonna put it above. Celebi above Quilava. Yeah. Right about there. I like Absol a lot. Metagross goes straight to the Arceus tier for sure. Put it right about there. That puts us at what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Very good. Under 10, as I said it would be. Jirachi. I've never been a massive fan of Jirachi. I want to put it in top of great. That might that might uh, upset some people, but I'm gonna put Jirachi at the top of great. Uh, Noctowl. It's okay. 
That's okay. We'll put it above Shuckle, below Mareep. Uh, Ladian. I like Ladian, actually. We'll put it in the okay tier. We'll go below him on top. Ariados. I'm not a big fan of spiders. Could you imagine seeing Ariados in real life? That's like a six foot spider. It's huge. And it's poisonous. But I still like Ariados. And I'm going to put Ariados in the. Okay, I'm going to move Pilot Swine up one. And we're going to put Ariados in here at. Second here. Behind him on top. Togepi and Togetic, I do like both. We'll put Togepi and Togetic in the great tier, I think. Below Heracross, maybe? Yeah. I think we're good. I'm looking at the list. I like the way it looks. I'd maybe put Sneasel ahead. I, I'm debating between that, maybe. I don't know. We'll leave it the way it is there. Um, Houndoom's good. Yeah, all these are in the right spot for me, personally. Ho-Oh, we got the... Entei and Reiku, Absol, absolutely, belongs in the amazing tier. Um, yeah, this looks good to me, man. Let me know who out of these Pokemon is your favorite. You know, are you a big uh, Dunsparce fan? Dunsparce Master Race, rise up. All two of you. <laughs> Actually, guys, before you guys go, um, I'm having to record this separate because I forgot to do this and it just hit me at the end of the... Uh, after I get done recording the last bit there. Um, but next week, because I like to do this at the end of every tier list or ranked videos, um, kind of giving you guys a preview of what's coming next week. So next week we're doing a uh, Fire Pokemon tier list, kind of a uh, 4th of July type of uh, celebratory thing, right? Um, fire Pokemon Fireworks. It kind of works. Um, but also, I also wanted to mention that I will put a link in the description below to this tier list on Tier List Maker uh, or Tier Maker if you want to do it for yourself. But anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, I am the Maverick Daniels, being your farewell peace and one love. Bang!